Hello boys and girls and welcome to Mountain Blade Warband where I am about to embark on the great quest to become king of the realm. So I will be doing a let's play of Warband for you guys since I have basically done everything else so I thought I would start with something new. So let's go new game. I haven't really played this in ages so I'm going to be a bit rustaic. Ooh that's a word, rustaic. Welcome, adventurer, to diplomacy for Mountain Blade. Oh, this is just all the... This is just all my mod stuff. I've only got one mod, which is diplomacy, so that's... I think it only does some minor things, like changes AI behavior and, like, actual... Like, there'll be actual more wars going on. All right, let's... You were born years ago in a faraway land. Your father was a hunter. You were the son of a family who lived off the woods doing whatever they needed to make ends meet. Hunting, woodcutting, making arrows, even a spot of poaching whenever things got tight. Winter was never a good time for your family as the cold took animals and people alike. But you always lived to see another dawn, though your brothers and sisters might have been so fortunate. You started to learn about the world almost as soon as you could walk and talk. You spent your life, your early life, as a, let's see, a page, a craftsman's apprentice, a shop assistant, a street urchin, a steppy child. Let's go. Let's go for a craftsman apprentice. As a boy growing out of the childhood, you apparent appreciated with you apprenticed with a local craftsman. Almost got there to learn a trade. After years of hard work and study under your young master, he, pro he promoted you to a journeyman and employed you as a fully paid craftsman as long as you wished to stay. Then as an adult, then as a young adult, life changed as it always does. You became a, a squire, a trapper, a trapper doer, whatever that is, a university student, a goods peddler, a smith, or a games poacher. Let's go with university student. Through the distinction felt sudden to you, somewhere along the way you had become a man. And the whole world seemed to change around you. You found yourself as a student in the university of one of the great cities, where you studied the theolo theology, philosophy, and medicine. But not all of these lessons were learned in the lecture halls. You may or may not have joined in with your fellows when they roamed the alleys in search of wine, women, and a good fight. Ha ha! You are a greeting lad, a greeting lad. However, you... Certainly were able to observe how a broken jaw is set, or how an angry townsman can be persuaded to set down his club and accept a cash compensation for the destruction of his shop. But soon everything changed and you decided to strike out on your own as an adventurer. What made you take this decision was... What made you take this decision was... That's, that's grammar bad. Um... Personal revenge, loss of a loved one, lo wanderlust, being forced out of a home, lust for power and money. Well, since we're on the quest for the becoming king of the realm, so might as well go for power. Become an adventurer, and let me send on. Realistic, I don't want to forget to not save. What shall I call myself? De Deirdrick? Dear Drick. Dre. Deirdrick. Deirdrick. Deirdrack. Oh well, fair enough. Alright, so if I want to be an archer, let's put agility. I want to be a super fast motherfucker. Alrighty, so we need power draw. One. Weapons master. One. Athletics. Improves your running speed. Um... Shall I be a horse archer? No. Let's go tracking one. Tactics leave. Pathfinding two. Spotting two. Uh, surgery for those from my party. Engineer, don't really need. Persuasion, don't really need. Trade leadership. Mm. Hmm. Let's go with. Let's put it into athletics and archer. Lots into Archer! 
I want to snipe off the wings of a fly. All right, let's choose what my guy shall look like. Should I have a Baldrick or a Blackadder or a Prince George? <laughs> oh, Codger! No, let's. Oh my God, it's Mace Windu. Wait, 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 wait. We've got Mace Windu. We should totally be Mace Windu. Draco, Mace Windu. No, let's let's look at these beards. Ooh, very interesting beards. Uh. Hoyo! I am Sensei! Sensei! Subaru! <laughs> I am from France! Uh, where are we? Let's see. Eh. Shaggy. No, no, no. It's Jesus. Holy shit. Alright, we've got Mr. Ponytail. Mr. Oh my god, that's not a hairstyle. That's a fucking mistake. Um, let's have a look. More, uh, oh my god, that didn't work out for him. Short and spiky. Let's have no beard, because he's a young man. A young man on his adventure. Alright, now let's start on the face. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobble, 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 wobble. Face ratio. Well. Long face, short face, stouty. Face depth. I landed on a brick. <laughs> long face, short face, long face, short face. I'm just going to be mucking around with this. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look with those cheekbones. Uh, that nose bridge I kind of want. A bit more. Alright. If you guys want to skip ahead at about 10 minutes, I might put like a link into the comments in the this in the description below to skip all this so we actually get to the edge combat. This is just going to be me fiddling with my character, but I think I'm actually quite close to it. I might change the eye shape a bit. Eye depth. Eye distance. Oh my god, he is an alien. Like Sheldon. <laughs> I have a very interesting looking guy. Alright! I think that's him. Let's add some age. Oh my god, he's gonna look like the creepiest old man in the world when he's older. So let's not do that. Alright, we have Dracon. Where shall we start? Go away, phone. Who are you? You've been poked by Thomas Mitchell. Who is that? I don't even know who you are. Go away. Stupid Facebook. Um, you hear about Calradria, a land torn between rival kingdoms battling each other for supremacy, a haven for knights and mercenaries, cutthroats and adventurers, all willing to risk their lives in pursuit of fortune, power, and glory. In this land which holds great dangers and even greater opportunities, you believe you may have left your past behind and started this new life. You feel that finally you hold the key of your own destiny in your hands. Feel to choose as you will, and that whatever course you take, greater adventures await you. Thrown by the stories you hear about Caldrea and its kingdom zoo. Let's see, joint. Shall I? Shall I be a desert, snowy? Let's sag off as Nords, and I know it's snow. Tulga is knights, and that's horses. Um, Vagarus is heavy, guys. Praven is knights. Let's go to the desert. Eh, yeah. Why not? Start with the desert. You came with a camper van, crossing the great desert to the east of Calria. The Bedroon guides choose your routes carefully, leapfrogging through treacherous dune fields and across empty graveled plains to lower oasis rich with orchids and date palms. Your great fear was that the caravan might lose its way and perish at first. The small bands of raiders who hovered just out of a bow shot, waiting to pick off stragglers, were oddly a comfort. At least water could be no more than a day's ride away. It was a great relief when the mountains came to view, 
and on the evening of the following day you crest a rocky pass, and then in the distance you can make out the sea and the tower short and the towers of Shaurez silhouetted against the sunset. That's actually quite a poetic view. I could actually imagine that. You are exhausted by the time you find the inn in Shariz and fall asleep quickly. However, you are awoken by before dawn and they are eager to explore their surroundings. You venture out onto the streets, which are still deserted. All of a sudden, you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end. The rasp of the blade slids from its scabbard. And now, we begin our quest. Oh my god, I have a crossbow. What? Why do I have a crossbow? I don't want a power thing. Uh oh, uh oh. Hey, take that bitch. No, no, no. Reload. 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 Fuck. Bitch. You are struck down. However, before you lose consciousness, you hear shouts and a rushing of footfalls. You awake to find yourself indoors, weak but alive. Ah, hello. Merchant of Shadows. Oh, don't kick him. Yep. Poof. Poof. You said my lap, but I'm going to kick you anyway. Kick him in the crotch. Kick him in the cross. All right, talk to the guy. Ah, you're awake. It's good to see that you are still walking. You're lucky that we came along. I had been speaking with the watch when we heard the sounds of the fight and ran to see what was happening. We didn't arrive in time to prevent you getting knocked down, but we may have saved you from getting your throat cut. Now, maybe you can help me. We've always had briggers in the hills, driving to banditry by war, debt, or love of violence. Recently, however, they have been getting bolder, leaving their camps in the wild and venturing into town, looking for unwary prey. The watch commander tells us to be it's because of all the fighting on the frontiers, fewer men to keep an eye out on the streets. But I am sure what to make of that. It seems to me that the only logical explanation is that these bandits have an ally inside these walls, who helps them enter unnoticed, and helps them identify particular dumpling targets. Last week, you see, they took my brother. I don't know what my brother was thinking. A lad from a prominent house out alone after dark in the times like these? Well, I suppose you would too, but you're a stranger here and didn't know how bad things had become. He had no such excuse, but his family. So what can I do? So what can you do if you cannot protect your kin? The people will start thinking that you cannot protect your investments either. And that I cannot have. No doubt the gang will soon send word about a ransom, but I, care, I do not care to pay it. So, here is my proposition. You look like you've had a bit of an experience with a blade, eh? And more importantly, you must be coming from a bit of fire in your belly, or you wouldn't be coming to Calric to seek your fortune. So here's what I'm asking you to do. Gather a small party, track down these bandits to their lair, teach them a lesson they won't forget, ha <laughs> ha, and get my buffer back safely. In return, you'll earn my lasting gratitude. And a bit of silver. What do you say? Hmm. Well, I just met my, this guy, and he kind of saved my life, so. But I do have, I do have my own, like, my own kind of quest that I want to keep doing. Alright, let's do this. Get some actual money. Very good, sir. I'll go and collect some men from the villages around. Good. Can you find, you can find me again in the tavern here in Chari's, after you've got your group together. Then we'll speak about what to do next. Alrighty, let's get out of here. How will we do that? You can leave now. Yeah, I know, I know. Go away. Alright, Shari's. And now we're in Calreed. So, where am I at the moment? I'm here. So let's go to An Esdur. Yeah, go away, tutorials. I don't like you. Collect five soldiers. Well, that doesn't seem too hard. Do 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 do. Eh, that was easy. Well, let's go with more, because I don't want to risk it too much.